question number three was relatively easy. But what happened was, there's something that I want to show you on the calculator. And that is how to work out standard deviation on the calculator. Question number three was about standard deviation. And a lot of the learners who answered this question in the final exam still used those long, long tables. After a while, you get quite tired. You're working and working and you just give up. So I have now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to find standard deviation on your calculator. I brought along two different calculators. These are the calculators that the majority of us are using. We're using the Casio calculator and the Sharp calculator. But what I want to do is can we first just focus on question number three. Okay, I have the following. The owner of an ice cream parlor. Ice cream would be very nice. It's quite hot outside gathered information on the average sales per day of liters of ice cream during a festival. So he had a festival and he was selling ice creams and the table below shows a summary for 12 days. On day one, he sold 217 liters. Day two, 211. On day 10, he sold 249 on day 12, he sold 185 and so it goes on. They are looking at how many liters did this guy sell during a festival. Question number 3.1 is very simple. I'm not even going to do it with you. It just says calculate the mean. Oh, everybody just gets this question correct. The mean is just add all of these numbers together. So it's the 12 scores, 217 plus 211 plus 221 plus 239, and you divide it by 12. Now, if you look, if, if you want to do that some quickly, then that's fine. But your mean, we worked out to be 2404 divided by 12. Where did I get this 2404 from? I took all the scores, all the liters that this guy sold, divided by 12, and your mean is 200,33. That's about the average liters of ice creams that he sold. And now we come to question 3.2. They're asking us, calculate the standard deviation of the given information. Calculate the standard deviation of the given information. Now people use these tables. I just want to show you something quickly. In the, about one, two years ago, people still used this long method. This long method, method with the table. Look at this. You get so tired of all these scores, adding up all these scores, squaring them. It becomes quite tedious and long. A mens raak moog. So wat ek vandag vir julle wil wees, is hoe gaan ek die standaard afwijking uitwerk op een calculator. Hoe ga ik die standaard uitwerking uitwerk op my sakrekenaar? En ek gaan nou eers net met die swart, dit is die sharp calculator, dit is die swart calculator wat baie van ons gebruik, en leerlinge, as jylle wil, kan jylle nou met de pen langs aan jylle sit, en soos ek die stappen verduidelik, kan jylle dit neerskryf. As jylle dit gaan neerskryf, dan gaan jylle dit onthou. So ek gaan fysische stappen vir jylle op die sakrekenaar wees. I'm going to show you how to do this on the calculator. And what I'm asking you to do is take a pen. Take a pencil. Don't look at a friend. Don't look around you. Focus. These questions are always in the exam. You're always going to have standard deviation. Focus, focus. Take your pencil. Take your pen. And as I am doing these steps on the calculator, I want you to write them down. Okay, so what you're going to do is step one. Focus on your calculator. I want everybody that has this black sharp calculator now to switch your calculators on. Right, you've got your calculator on. And because we are busy with statistics, the first thing you need to do is to put it in stat mode. So you are going to press mode and you are going to press 1. Why 1? Because it's your stat mode. It clearly says there's stat mode 1. Now can you see there's a zero flickering? It's the standard deviation. So you press mode 1 and then 
you press naught. Mode one, and then you press naught. I'm not going to write down all the steps for you. You can write it down yourself. But I'm just saying, write down little notes for you next to it. So I wrote mode. I pressed mode one and naught. What do you see on your calculator now? You see stat naught. You are in stats mode. You are ready to find the standard deviation. And what are we going to do first? Punch or enter in all your values. The first value that you had was 217. So you say 217 and you press M plus. Then 211 M plus. 221. M plus 239 M plus and you go along punching in these values all the time 161 M plus 168 M plus why M plus you're storing it into your memory 185 M plus 265 M plus we're almost there we have three scores to go 249 M plus 160 M plus and the very last one that this guy sold on this day on the 12th day 184 M plus now you know what you now see that your data set it says 12 and it's correct because you had 12 sets of values you must see data set 12 after that you are now going to press alpha Remember, I've asked you to have your pencil next to you so that you can write down these steps. You've punched in all your values, M plus. Now you press alpha. I've pressed alpha. And then I press number six. Can you see? I just want to show you the symbol quickly. The symbol for standard deviation looks like that. This is your symbol for standard deviation. And then after that, you press equal to, and there you have your standard deviation. Simple, your standard deviation on your calculator should say 37,37. This is correct to two decimal places. That is your standard deviation. Without any problems, let's just revise quickly. It's mode one, then zero. Then you're in stats mode. Then you punch in all your values. Remember, after every value, you press M plus, M plus, M plus, alpha, and then 6. That is the sharp calculator. Much shorter. The Casio calculator takes longer. Learners, I think you will agree with me that to do it on the calculator is easier. All you have to do is to memorize the steps. Practice, take a few sets of data, punch it into your calculator. It's so much simpler than using that long column method. I strongly ad advise you to use your calculator. Now, a lot of us work with a Casio calculator, and I think it is just good that I show you what to do on the Casio calculator. It's a little bit more difficult. The steps are a little bit more longer, but more and more learners are using this calculator. To find the standard deviation on this calculator, let's start. Okay, so I just want to take it out of my mode. Just quickly for the learners, after you've worked in stat mode, just put your calculator back on normal mode. Remember, you are in stat mode, so you just have to go back to normal mode before you're going to continue with your other sums. Lots of people still work in that stat mode. And it's a problem. So now, what am I going to do now? I am going to go and show you how to do standard deviation on the Casio calculator. All right, we're about to start. The first thing that you do with the Casio calculator is to get it in stat mode. So step number one, again, is to get it in stat mode. So you press mode. I always just want to write the first step down for you. And you can see one is comp, two is stat, Three is table. You can tell me before I even tell you what to press. You are going to press number two because number two is going to put you in stat mode. I'm in stat mode, so it's mode two. After you've pressed two, look at that. Remember, you're going to press one now. It's two, then one. 
Why one? Because it's variance and standard deviation that goes together. What you see on your screen now is something looking like this one. Everybody should have this on their calculator now. You are going to enter your data into your calculator now. Just quickly with the other calculator, what did we do? We punched our values in and we said memory plus on the sharp calculator. That was the value, memory plus, value, memory plus. But for the Casio calculator, it's going to be the value and then an equal to sign. So watch me closely as I enter the set with the Casio calculator. So it's 217 equals. It pops up into your first row. And then the next one is 211 equals 221 equals. Learners, do it with me. Don't just watch me. Do it with me. You try it yourself. Remember, you are the ones that must go write these exams. Do it with me. The next set is 239 equals 144 equals 161 equals 168, remember I have to enter 12 sets of data, 185 equals, 265 equals, 249 equals, 160 equals, 184. And that is my last set. It was 12. What am I about to do now? After you have entered all your data, you need to clear your screen. So you've entered all your data, that's number two. Now you're going to clear the screen. Clear your screen by doing what? You press AC. Look what I'm going to do. I press AC and my screen is cleared. But remember, you still have all that data there. You cleared your screen. After you cleared your screen, you press SHIFT. Shift one. After you press one, look for the variance. Variance is four, so it's shift one, then four. And you remember this little sign I showed you? The sign that looks like this, you see it again, and it's number three. Standard deviation equals, and you get exactly the same answer of 37. Comma seven. Look, learners, exactly like the sharp calculator, 37, comma 7 is the standard deviation. If I can just say something about the calculators, I'm again going to emphasize it's far shorter, it's not so time consuming, and if you memorize these steps, then you can just do your standard deviation on your calculator. I hope that you've written down steps and when you watch this again to practice and practice it always in an exam they always ask it you want these marks so I encourage every student that if they ask you to find the standard deviation as hulle vir jou gaan vra om die standaard afweiking te kry asseblief leerlinge doen het met behulp van die calculator. Doen het met jou sakrekenaar. Ek het veel gewees om het op die sharp calculator te doen. En nou het ek veel gewees om op die Casio sakrekenaar te doen. And I hope that you can all do it. And there you have your three marks for standard deviation. I hope that that helped quite a bit.